to link and unlink units, you will go to a screen under Company, Utilities, hold down three buttons, Control, Shift, and T as in Tom. Again, that's Control, Shift, and T as in Tom. And it will bring up a button that says Move Ledger to another tenant. Before we get into the specifics of that screen, why would you link and unlink units? The term linking in SiteLink means that someone has more than one unit and you want to be able to take a payment for two units at a time, see both invoices connected to one customer, they're not separate. So if we went into the payment screen for example, and we clicked on someone, in this case Jackie, we'll see that they're together. There's two units under one. In other words, if we click on all units, we can take a payment for both units. How do those units initially become linked? Well, number one, we do our initial move in like we normally would do. The key to quote unquote linking a unit is when we do the second move in and we choose our unit, we'll want to choose their name from the list. If we choose Jackie Chan in this example from this existing tenant list, SiteLink knows this is the same Jackie Chan. However, if we had clicked add on the right hand side, for the second move in and added in Jackie Chan with the exact same information, it thinks it's a different person. So for example, a typical scenario would be that you have a father and son with the same name. They're obviously not the same person and you wouldn't want those linked because they're different people that have different addresses amongst other things. So again, add is a new person. It will not be linked to a previous move in if you choose the existing name from the tenant list, it will be. So if there was a mistake and the add button was clicked on the second move in rather than the name from the tenant list, that's when we'll go to company, utilities, and hold down this control shift T screen to link those units, bring them together. The same situation can happen on a conversion. When SiteLink brings over tenants, brings over units from another software, it may not bring those same tenant names together. And that's another reason why you could be using this particular screen. When we click move ledger to another tenant, we're going to see names. So in this case, we see that J Chan here. This is the first unit, 1105. And then there's our second unit, RV012. The fact that it's blue is telling you that it's linked. If we saw names in white that were the same, that's telling us that it's not linked. So I'm going to quickly do a move in and put in Jackie Chan with the add button. So I'm going to choose a unit, click next, click add. And in this demo, it's only asking me for a first and last name. So I'll put in Jackie Chan. And this is a different person. At least that's how SiteLink sees it at this point. But we know in the end this should have been chosen from the tenant list but by for whatever reason by mistake Jackie Chan was added as a new person. So we're going to finish this move in. Now we'll notice when we go to the payment screen there's Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan several times. But if I click on 1039, it's by itself. It's not with the other units. When I click on 1105, there's the other two. So I want all three under the same situation. In order to do that, we go to Company, Utilities, hold down Control Shift T, bring up Move Ledger to another tenant, and then we'll see Jackie Chan, Tour, and Blue, they're linked, but there's the other instance of Jackie Chan which is not linked. So in order to link them, how do you do that? We click on the unlinked unit on the left, then click on the instance of one of the linked units on the right, and now we click transfer. So we're saying unit 1039 Jackie Chan should be with, should be linked with the other instance of Jackie Chan. We're transferring it. Now this is different than the normal transfer. There's no, there's no proration. Um, it's literally just assigning this together. So we close the screen down, and if we go to payments now, operations payments, we'll see all three under the same Jackie Chan. That's how we link units. Now why would we quote unquote unlink units? Well, unfortunately you could have a situation where maybe there was a husband and wife that had two units together and they get divorced. We, we see this more times than we'd like where they get divorced and now spouse one is going to keep unit one, spouse two is going to keep unit two. They just want to unlink it. They want to separate it. To do that, 
let's stick with our Jackie Chan example. Maybe there is a Mrs. Chan that is now taking one of these units. What you would do in this case to unlink, you'd click Add on the right-hand side, put in, I'll put in Mrs. Chan. Obviously, whatever their name is, you're going to click OK. And we're adding this new person that it's going to be with. So now let's just say Unit 1105 that used to be with Jackie Chan is now going to be with Mrs. Chan. I click the unit on the left that was with Jackie. Now click on the instance of the person, Mrs. Chan on the right. Click the transfer button. And now we are unlinking 1105 with Jackie Chan and moving it to Mrs. Chan in this example. So now if we go to the payment screen and we find Mrs. Chan, Mrs. Chan is by herself in 1105. We have unlinked the unit. That is the process of the Control Shift T screen in utilities to link and unlink units.